kickoff. And the ball is up, controlled by Oak Ridge, and we are underway here from the Wildcat Arena. With the basketball will come Hope Holt to Kamari Mitchell-Steen, drives in for the shot, good. Kamari gets the Lady Wildcats on the board first, and it's a 2 to nothing ball game. Down the floor will come Harden Valley, moving right to left, wearing their all navy blue basketball pants and jerseys, white numerals, almost an offensive foul right there, as they work the ball to the right corner. Harden Valley ball, 2 to nothing. our scores. They work the ball down low, inside the paint. They kick it out for a three-point shot. They won't take it. Now they will from just to the top of the key. It's up. Good. Eddie Wildcats give up a three at the top of the circle, and they trail it by a score of 3-2. to two. Down the floor of the basketball will come Oak Ridge. Hope with it. Then the left corner, the Lady Wildcats will shoot a three. It's up. Good. Three-point shot, and just like that, the Lady Wildcats are back on top. 5-3 to three our score, and down the floor, here's a steal by Oak Ridge, taken by the Lady Wildcats. And... Mark? That was uh, Samaj Clark, David. She went down there. Unfortunately, she did not um, convert on the layup. So, Harden Valley has the ball back. 5-3, to three, our score. 6.55 to play here in the first quarter where the basketball will come. Harden Valley, once again, outside the three-point line. They're going to shoot a shot. It's an air ball. No good. Out the bounds. I thought it was almost going to go out of bounds. Saved in the corner by number 32 for them. And that is Gracie Waite. They work the ball top of the circle. In the ball game, number 14, Lexi Hall. There's another steal. And then the whistle blows, and we have a personal foul. Just underway here at the Wildcat Arena on PrepRadio.com, Oak Ridge Schools Television Channel 15, the Lady Wildcats and the Lady Hawks. Harden Valley Academy, 5-3 to three our score as the Lady Hawks will work the ball in underneath the goal, I believe. Now they're going to switch it off, and what are they going to say? The official comes over to the scores table, and Mark? Uh, I'm not sure if there's a timeout or what. Um, Harden Valley's coach she is talking to four of her players. Has uh, must be a technical because they've cleared the lane. Um, we'll have to see, see about that. That's the only explanation I can see. All the players are beyond the half court line, so I don't know who got the technical, but obviously it was a technical foul. To the free throw line for them will go Lexi Hall. Her first toss is up, no good. 6:35 to play in the first period here at the Wildcat Arena. Here on PrepRadio.com, Oak Ridge Schools Television Channel 15. She knocks down the second shot, five to four. Lady Wildcats in the lead. It'll be Harden Valley basketball side mid court. Lady Wildcats with the same starting five we saw against the uh, Kingston Lady Jackets. Oak Ridge in the lead, five to four. Six and a half minutes to play. Another near steal by the Wildcats, and then a, a jump ball is going to be called. The alternate possession arrow will give the ball back to the Harden Valley Lady Hawks. Gracie Waite has uh, turned the ball over a couple times. That time, the alternate possession gave her the possession back, and she'll set, set the offensive motion at the top of the circle. Picked up by Kamari Mitchell-Steen, then they throw the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Avery. She throws it away. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball coming down the floor. Moving left to right. As we broadcast here from the Wildcat Arena, Hope Holt running the point, gives it out to Kamari, right corner, Cannon Green for three, it's on its way, in and out, no good. Gracie on the rebound, good. Gracie Heron scores off the glass, and the Lady Wildcats have a 7-4 lead. Here comes Harden Valley down the floor. They'll bring the ball across the line, a near reach-in foul, and then here's a deflection picked up by Hawk, the Lady Hawks, and they'll set up their dribble. With a basketball, Avery Lottery, she works the ball top of the circle, works the ball, and throws it away. Out of bounds, right into the Oak Ridge bench. It'll be Lady Wildcat basketball. Five minutes, 48 seconds to play here in the first period. And I seven to four ball game. Jim looks a little bit darker here tonight here at the Wildcat Arena. Hope you'll come out and support Oak Ridge tonight. Hope Holt's got a wide open three. It's up. Good. Three-point shot for Hope. And the Lady Wildcat lead is 10 to 4. And Jennifer Wilson not too happy with the defense set there by the Lady Hawks. With the basketball will come Harden Valley. Top of the circle. Here he goes to Wait. Wait holds it. Waits a little bit longer and goes down low. Gets the shot up. No good. They miss it on the rebound. Oak Ridge. Gracie Heron on the rebound to Hope Holt. She's going to come out of there quickly with the basketball. Basketball. Hope will drive in. The ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball underneath the goal. 10 for the score just underway here at the Wildcat Arena. Not a district ball game, a non district game, a region ball game between these two old foes. Oak Ridge gets a shot up. No good. Not a good shot by Gracie that time. And they push it down the floor and they should have a layup. And it's good. 
Eddie Wildcats got beaten down the floor, and I know Coach Reb or Coach Taylor's not going to like that. Here comes Oak Ridge down the floor. Kamari's got a wide open three, top of the key, good. Kamari Mitchell Steen picking up right where she left off on Tuesday when she knocked down 28 points in that one. Is Hardin Valley's about to lose the ball. They do a turnover and a layup, and guess who's got it? It's Kamari Mitchell Steen. 15 to six, our score, and the Lady Wildcats rolling it up here early on the Lady Hawks. Mark. Yeah, they are. Kamari Mitchell Steen only has seven points of the 15 from the Wildcats. So as you said, she's just kind of picking up where she left off Tuesday night, David. 427 and counting. 15-6 a score. Here's a deflection. Last touch by Hope Holt. She knocks it out of bounds. Looks like we've got Mr. Queener uh, doing the uh, refereeing tonight, along with one of the other officials from last night or Tuesday night, and another one where all three of these guys work all of our ball games. I mean, there's only seems to be about six of them that we see all season long, which can't be the case, obviously. As a three-second lane, nope, it's going to be a travel call against Harden Valley. Is there a young Harden Valley team? I saw Elsie Wilson earlier in the summer, Mark, and he was telling me about the youth of this team. They only have two seniors on the roster, uh, Bo- Boquick and Grice, and the rest of them are going to be juniors and sophomores. So a learning process as the Lady Wildcats score again. Another three-pointer by Kamari Mitchell Steen, David. She now has 10 points in the ballgame, 10 of the 18 as Harden Valley takes a quick timeout. Oak Ridge on top with four minutes remaining. Uh, eight to six in the first quarter. We'll be back after the 60-second timeout. Welcome back to the Wildcat Arena. David Clary, along with Mark and Shauna Hayes here. Christian Rosas Rodriguez with us as well. Mark, big football game tomorrow. Are you going? I'll be there. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many clothes I'm going to leave at the house. I am think I'm going to take all of them with me. Uh, yeah, I would. I'd take an umbrella. And if you've got some tents, like I tried to get you to do the last time we were west at West, bring your tents along in case it rains. Here comes Harden Valley down the floor. Oak Ridge on top, 18-6, to 350 to play here in the first quarter. Lady Wildcats currently uh, playing with, as, as White gets a shot up, no good. Rebounded by Kamari. Kamari Mitchell-Steen coming down the floor, pushes it up to Hope. She works the ball inside, wide open layup. Samaj Clark off the glass, good. And the Lady Wildcats. Cats are rolling it up on Harden Valley. 20 to 8 the score. Here comes Waite down the floor. Coast to coast. She drives in, stripped to the ball. Ball goes bouncing out of bounds of the Oak Ridge basketball. This Harden Valley team does not look as good as previous teams we've seen, at least early on, Mark. No, it's not the typical Harden Valley team that you would expect out of uh, their coach, Jennifer um, Galloway. Wilson. Wilson Galloway. Yes. Um, there's a, she's just an excellent coach. As uh, Samaj Clark goes in, drives in, takes a shot, no good, rebounded by Harden Valley. Lady Wildcats up 20 to 8. Down the floor of the basketball will come the Lady Hawks. Three minutes, three seconds to play here in this first period here at the Wildcat Arena. The boys' game will follow. It'll be Oak Ridge and Morristown East, which is kind of interesting. We haven't played them since 1992. Here comes a steal by Oak Ridge. Cannon Green with it down the floor to Hope. Lady Wildcats with it in the left corner. Cross court it goes. Kamari's got another wide open three. This one's no good. I guess she is human after all, Mark Haste. That's her first missed shot, David. She's uh, four or five now from the field. She's got two twos and two threes. Twenty to eight, the Lady Wildcats in the lead. Two thirty-three to play first quarter. As uh, uh, here's nearly a steal, going to be close to a double dribble. She's got to hold the ball forever. Five second count was on. Ball was deflected, and here's another steal. Hope's got it. Hope Holt's going to drive coast to coast. Right block shot rolls off. No good. Oak Ridge's Kamari Mitchell Steen has the rebound, but she's tied up. The alternate possession arrow will give the ball to the Lady Wildcats. Oak Ridge. Great, great job that time uh, by Kamara Mitchell Steen kind of doing a passive uh, screen as she's kind of blocking out uh, a defender on her way down to make it so that uh, Hope Holt would have a successful layup. 
Bella Boone in the ball game for the first time tonight for the Lady Wildcats. She's standing in the corner right in front of the Oak Ridge, the Hardin Valley bench. She's got it in the corner. Thought about driving in. Coach Rev, uh, Coach Taylor told me last night as Oak Ridge Cannon Green for three, it's up no good. Uh, she told me that uh, Bella's going to get a lot of playing time. She's a post player for the Lady Wildcats, and she's going to get a lot of playing time, and she did on Tuesday night against Kingston. Yeah, she looked good. I mean, she's uh, is she a freshman or a sophomore, she is. David? Yes, yeah, she's a... she looks good for a freshman. I mean, she really did. I mean, I see a lot of potential in her uh, over the next few years. Well, the basketball will come Harden Valley. A minute 51 to play here in the first quarter. 22-8, the Lady Wildcats in the lead. Harden Valley turns the ball over. Guess who steals it? Kamari Mitchell-Steen, coast to coast, layup off the glass. Good. 22-8 to eight the score. The Lady Wildcats have the lead over Harden Valley. Here come the Lady Hawks down the floor, moving right to left. If you just tuned in, uh, just today, the ball games that were scheduled to be played at Centennial High School, Monday and Tuesday, Green Hill was the scheduled opponent on Monday. Centennial was the opponent uh, scheduled on Tuesday. Those games in Nashville have been called off. Coach Green told me today that he is desperately trying to find another ball game, so at least they'll have some kind of a ball game as Harden Valley turns the ball over. Uh, so far, he has been Successful. He said he has called and texted and emailed just about every school in East Tennessee. The only person who has responded that is willing to play us is Ricky Norris at Webb High School, but they can't play at Webb. And unfortunately, the high school is closing down for cleaning our high school, so we can't play at Oak Ridge. So, Oak Ridge, if anybody's out there listening, and if you're a coach of a high school team, Tuesday, Oak Ridge boys, and maybe girls, if, if possible, are looking for a ball game, but it has to be on the road. We'll come to your place if, if you have an opportunity. Cannon Green in the left corner goes inside. Oh, man, she's wide open. Here's the shot. It's up. No good. I think Samaj was too wide open that time and didn't expect uh, – Expected somebody to be guarding her as they launch a three. It's up. That's an air ball. Bella Boone on the rebound. Here goes to Hope to Kamari Mitchell-Steen. Kamari's going to drive coast to coast. Lay it up. Good. Kamari scores again, and it is 24-8. to eight. The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Down the floor of the basketball will come Harden Valley. A breakdown on the Oak Ridge defense, but they still missed a shot. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Queener says last touched by Harden Valley. Got 25 seconds to play here. I think this game has the potential mark of going to a running clock early. I think it does, David, uh, which will hopefully get us out of here a little earlier, seeing how it's getting cold so early in the season now. Here comes the Lady Wildcats probably for the final time here in the first quarter. Oak Ridge on top, 24 to 8 as we play here at the Wildcat Arena. Lady Wildcat basketball here. Oak Ridge basketball, left corner. Here's a three-point shot on its way. In and out, no good. On the rebound, Harden Valley. Lady Hawks in the rear court. They don't get a shot off as the first quarter comes to a close. One quarter basketball on the books. The Lady Wildcats lead it 24 to 6. We'll be back to the Wildcat Arena in 60 seconds. Clary Marquez back here on PrepRadio.com, Oak Ridge Schools Television Channel 15. Our sponsors for tonight's ballgame, 10 Bank of Oak Ridge, Mortgage Investors Group, Fox Insurance Group of Oak Ridge, along with Oak Ridge Utility District and Ortho, Tennessee. Appreciate all of our sponsors. They'll be carrying us all the way through. Eventually, we'll have some streaming ball games. We'll have some games on FM 92.7, FM 94.7 as well. And they're the reason. So uh, let them know that you appreciate them. We're still looking for sponsors ourselves for other, other games, of course, and uh, just individual game sponsors for individuals anybody who might be willing to help us out we're always willing to take your donations hard to get the ball first as we start play here in the second quarter they'll be moving right to left here 24 to to uh, six lady wildcats currently have the lead and it'll be another turnover by the the lady
Lady Hawks and the Wildcats will get it. I think I've been saying 24 to 8. I just actually looked at the scoreboard, Mark. Maybe I should do that a little bit more often. Yeah, I think they have it there for a reason, David. Here comes Oak Ridge with the basketball. Kamari Mitchell steam with it. Works the ball to the left side. I think that's Lauren Hart in the ball game for the first time, is it not? Yes, it is. Number 23. The basketball. Will come Oak Ridge. That'll be Cannon Green outside the line. Swings the ball to Kamari. Long three is on its way. This one's no good. Rebounded by Cannon. Cannon works it in for a shot. Good. I think that's Samaj Clark with her first two points. And the Lady Wildcats lead it 26 to 6. Lady Wildcats up by 20. Here come the Lady Hawks moving right to left. Harden Valley got drilled by Campbell County on Tuesday. Kind of scares me, Mark. Sounds like Campbell County's reloaded once again. Boy, they're always good. I mean, their girls' team is always good. You know, so, you know, it's been us and them to, for a district battle year after year here recently. Arden Valley basketball, they throw up a shot, and it goes in. 26 to 8, the score. I wouldn't exactly say that's the way she wanted to shoot it, but it goes. It's effective as Hope drives in. She's out a little bit out of control and turns the ball over. Tried to force it inside, I think, that time. Mark, and here comes Harden Valley down the floor. They've got somebody open, but Kamari's just going to deflect it out of bounds. Save what could have been a layup right there. Oak Ridge on top, 26 to 8. Six minutes, 38 seconds to play as Harden Valley was substitute into the ball game. Evelyn Hess, she comes in, I believe, for the first time. They also have Emma Boeg in the ball game. I'll let you figure out the pronunciation of that as they work the ball. Right extension, the free throw line, just a little bit down below it. They kick it out to the left corner with a number 11. That'll be Faith Johnson. Faith Johnson cannot shoot. You have Faith in her shot. Gives it over to Lexi Hall. Turns the ball over. Taken away by Lauren Hart. Good to see Lauren back in the in the fray of things as Oak Ridge gets a layup opportunity. No good. Missed by Hope. Taken away by Waite. Waite comes down the floor. Does not wait for a team. Mace takes it all the way strong and has her shot blocked. They say it's out of bounds. Last touch by Waite. Good play by Samaj Clark. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball. I can play with a lot of these names here, Mark. I know you're excited to hear that too, right? Yeah, I'm glad that uh, you can be entertained by names at a basketball game, David. Here comes Oak Ridge down the floor. Six minutes to play here in the first half. Oak Ridge on top, 26-8 to eight over Harden Valley. The basketball, Oak Ridge driving in for the shot. Missed it. Missed shot by Lauren Hart. Taken away by the Lady Hawks. Straight down the middle of the floor, top of the circle. Five minutes, 53 seconds to play. Second quarter, 26-8. to eight, The Lady Wildcats in the lead. The boys game will follow. 7.30 tip off. Oak Ridge and Morristown East. They've got a big team. They've got a guy on their team, Mark, named Simpson. They drive in. It's another turnover by Harden Valley, who hit 103 three-pointers last year. They've got a 6'10 guy who uh, pulled down about averaging 10 rebounds a ball game. Uh, That's a good Morristown East team. Uh, The Wildcats are going to be shorthanded once again, but, you know, as we said, at least these young guys are going to get some experience, and when it comes time, when the rest of the whole team comes together, at least we'll have a good solid bench. There's another three-point shot drop in by Oak Ridge. That one's by Samaj Clark. So Oak Ridge is now with two individuals with uh, double figures in the first half. Both uh, Samaj Clark has 10 and then Kamari Mitchell seeing with 14. By 15 to play second quarter. Lady Wildcats lead it 29 to 8. Here's a steal. The Lady Wildcats, Gracie Heron, giving it up to Samaj to Hope Hope. Hope will not take the shot. She thought about it, though. Kicks the ball back out to Hart. Lauren works the ball top of the circle. Lauren missed the back half of the season last year as Lady Wildcats put up a shot. No good. Uh, it wasn't able to play due to illness, and unfortunately didn't get to see the end of the year, but it's good to have her back out there once again. Harden Valley basketball. Four minutes, 43 seconds to play. They're in the paint. Good defense by Oak Ridge's Gracie Heron, and then there's a three-second lane violation. She just kind of camped out in the middle of the floor, and Turns the ball over. 29 to 8. The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Four minutes, 37 seconds to play here in the second quarter. You know, at least in these first two ball games, uh, the Lady Wildcats look very, very strong and getting more and more confidence with these players that haven't played as much. You know, only Oak Ridge only has two seniors on the roster Hope, Holt, and Kamari. As Samaj puts up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Hart. Can't save it. Saved away by the Lady Hawks. And then a personal foul is going to be called against Lauren Hart. Good thing is, you know, these games, these first two ball games have not been close, so the young players getting a chance to play a lot more basketball. Yeah, I mean, and that's going to just help you down the road, David, you know. 
playing good competition and getting as many players with experience, with minutes off the bench is uh, what really prepares you for the postseason. That's what Oak Ridge is all about. I want to remind everybody, tomorrow we'll have the football game. Here's a steal by Kamari Mitchell-Steen, and Kamari's going to drive with a left-handed layup. No good. Draws the foul. That'll be a block against Hardin Valley, and Kamari will go to the free throw line. Football game will be 7 o'clock at West High School quarterfinal action. The winner to uh, play in the semifinals. There's only 18 left playing football in the state of Tennessee in 5A and and the Wildcats are one of them. They'll take on what is a really, really good West team. That'll be tomorrow at 7 o'clock. We'll have the game on on FM 92.7, FM 94.7, PrepRadio.com and Oak Ridge Schools Television Channel 15. Kamari's first free throw is up good. 32-8 the score. Lady Wildcats in the lead. Second toss, a little bit strong. And down the floor will come Harden Valley. Uh, one thing that Coach Taylor told me on the interview Tuesday night that, uh, you know, she was disappointed in was the free throws. And particularly, you know, uh, Kamari doesn't usually miss free throws. I mean, she was at around 80% last year. And this year she's kind of struggled a bit. Maybe that's just one part of her game that she hadn't been able to work on is here's another steal for a second. Momentarily, ball's loose on the floor. Saved on the floor by the Lady Hawks at the free throw line. They work the ball. Oak Ridge's defense right now is stifling. They're just having trouble getting the ball inside as they launch it through. It's good. Three-point shot by Harden Valley, and it's 30-11, to 11, the Lady Wildcats. I thought Oak Ridge actually had a pretty good series of defense right there. Just kind of the ball bounced that girl's hands, and she knocked a three down. Here comes Oak Ridge down the floor. Samaj, and what's the call? Let's see. I thought maybe they might call a moving screen there, but I guess uh, Kamari just got trucked there by the Lady Hawks. Personal foul is called, and it'll be Oak Ridge basketball underneath the goal. Fast-moving first half here at the Wildcat Arena. Four girls coming into the game for Hardin Valley. Olivia Neely comes into the ball game. Checking out for them will come Evelyn Hess. Pretty Wildcat ball. Hope will try to work it in. Does into Gracie. Gracie spinning six-footer. Good. Gracie Heron knocks it down, and it's 32-11. to 11. The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Down the floor will come Hardin Valley. Then they throw the ball away. Wait, didn't wait for the girl from uh, on the far right side of the corner to stop, and she threw it to her, and she had already vacated the spot and throws the ball away. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball side front court. Oak Ridge has a wide open three. It's on its way up there. It is no good. Crashing the boards hard. Gracie Heron goes right back up. She's tied up. Good play. Here come the Lady Hawks down the floor, and then the Wildcats almost get a steal with Hope Holt. Lady Wildcats being very tenacious right now on defense as they work the ball in unable to drive all the way through. They back it up once again with a pass to Neely. Neely almost hands it right to Kamari Mitchell-Steen. Yep, it's got the steal right away. Oak Ridge is so aggressive. Here's a steal by Oak Ridge. Well, catch with it with Hope Holt. Hope's going to drive down the floor. Free throw line. Kick it out for a three. Nope. It's going to be a shorter shot. Samaj goes in. Good. But he Wildcats dropped it in. Oak Ridge looks really good here in the early going, Mark. Yeah, they do. You know, <clears throat> they look uh, obviously better tonight than they did on Tuesday night against Kingston. But uh, I think that this Hard Valley team is a little bit lesser quality than the Kingston team. But uh, don't don't take that away from the Lady Wildcats. They're they're playing really well. Yeah, I, I think the inexperience, and Coach Wilson told me that it, it is Coach uh, Jennifer Wilson Galloway's dad, L.C. Wilson, one of her assistant coaches, said that this is a young team. And just by the way the roster was, Hope knocks the ball out of bounds right at the scores table. It'll be Hardin Valley ball once again right at the midcourt line. 2-12 to play first half, 34-11. to The Lady Wildcats in lead looking for their second win. Be a while until the Lady Wildcats play another ball game. The next game will be December the 1st, unless we schedule one for next two. Tuesday as there's a missed shot rebounded by Kamari. Kamari Mitchell-Steen running hard, giving it up. Nice pass. Shot is up. Good. Lady Wildcats in a nice transition bucket. Those two points added by Samaj Clark. She now has 14. Uh, she has 14 and Kamari Mitchell-Steen with 15. Ball saved on the floor by Waite. Minute 39 to play. Lady Wildcat lead is 36 to 11. Here's another steal. Cannon Green with it. Pushes it up the floor. Saving it will come Oak Ridge for the shot. No good. Kamari had her shot. Knocked out of bounds. And a personal foul is going to be called against the Lady Hawks. And that will send Kamari Mitchell-Steen to the free throw line. Cannon Green's in the ball game. Kamari Mitchell-Steen. Hope Holtz in the ball game. Samaj Clark for the Lady Wildcats. 36 to 11. Gracie Heron, of course, 36-11 the score. Toss on its way up there, good. 
It's been all Oak Ridge, Mark. Lady Wildcats uh, led 26 to 6 after one quarter, and now they lead have extended that lead to 37 to 11. Oak Ridge. Oh, we'll play the Halls Lady Red Devils as that free throw is also good. 38-11 our score. The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Here comes Harden Valley down the floor. Looks like it could be a long year for the Lady Hawks. But like we said, they're young. They'll get experience too, and they're going to get better by playing Oak Ridge here. Minute 20. One to play second quarter, 38-11. The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Neely with a basketball outside to the right corner, driving the baseline, and nearly another steal by Oak Ridge almost. Saved away, indeed, deflected. Back to midcourt and cannot be saved by Samaj, but a good hustle. I think just looking at Samaj, and Samaj started coming on pretty strong at the end of the season, but she looks like a totally different player right now, Mark. Yeah, she does. Very aggressive. I love to see the aggressiveness that she's showing tonight. And also, um, Lauren Hart, you know, the few minutes that she's got in, she's playing much more aggressive this year than I remember her. Another turnover, I think, by Harden Valley. Good defense by Oak Ridge. They just kind of trapped the girl on the sideline, and she just put the ball over her head and kind of whirled and twirled and turned the ball over. And here comes Oak Ridge down the floor. Slowly walking it up the floor will come the senior, Hope Holt, who will walk it across the line, standing in the OR, just outside of it now, dribbling with her right hand, waiting for the defense to come up on her. As Wildcats will play for the final shot, leading Harden Valley 38-11 to here at the Wildcat Arena. The boys' game will follow at 7. 30 Oak Ridge and Morristown East. Wildcat boys will be shorthanded again, and they're playing a better team than they played on Tuesday. So hopefully the Wildcats will have a better performance than they did on Tuesday as the Lady Wildcats still working for that final shot. When you were talking about the hype, you know, that uh, Morristown East brings to the gymnasium tonight, I was thinking, boy, we really do miss um, Mr. Milloway tonight. Mr. Milloway is listening to us right now as we speak, and I'm sure he'll appreciate those kind words. Miss shot, rebounded by Hope Holt. She launches one up. No good. That is the end of the first half. Mark, it was all Oak Ridge, 38 to 16, as we get set here from the Wildcat Arena. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball, and we are underway once again here from the arena. 38 to 11, the score with the basketball will come Oak Ridge. Cannon Green with the basketball. Got to get some points out of Cannon. I don't believe she contributed to the offense the other night in the starting role at against the Kingston Yellow Jackets. With the basketball comes Hope. She works the ball left extension, the free throw line to Kamari. Kamari drives in the paint, goes in for a shot off the glass by Gracie Ernie. I don't think it'll count. They're going to call a personal foul against the Wildcats, and that'll wipe off the basketball. It'll be an offensive player control foul against Oak Ridge. Good call, I think, by the official. Yeah, well, it could have gone either way, honestly, in my opinion, David. But, uh, yeah, I, I have no disagreement with that. A nice defense has just right as soon as the lady from Hardin Valley crosses mid- midcourt by both Samaj Clark and Hope Holt. Jump ball is called. The alternate possession arrow this time will give the ball to Harden Valley. 38-11, the Lady Wildcats in the lead. Ball's trying to get worked in by Harden Valley. In it comes to Wait. Wait guarded by Kamari. Works the ball here, here to the left side. They're moving left to right here as we play here in the third period at the Wildcat Arena. The boys' game will follow Oak Ridge and Morristown East. The Wildcats trying to get their first win of the season. Still without a lot of players as Harden Valley misses a shot. It was an easy one. Rebounded by Oak Ridge's Kamari Mitchell Steen. She pushes the ball up the floor to Gracie Heron, who gets the layup. Good. Gracie Heron scores and makes it 40 to 11. The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Six minutes, 55 seconds to play here in the third period. Oak Ridge has beaten Hardin Valley five straight times dating back to 2013. There was a few years there that we didn't play them. We played them several times in the postseason, but not in the regular season until last year, once again renewing the series as Hardin Valley works their offense, trying to get a shot off. The Lady Wildcats have extended out a bit. They get a shot off the glass. Good. Nice looking shot that time by Hardin Valley and Oak Ridge's lead is 40 to 13. Down the floor slowly will come Oak Ridge's Kamari Mitchell Steen. Kamari is signed to play at Northern Kentucky University as the Wildcats work it over to Gracie. Cannot shoot over to Samaj. Looks down low. Can't get the ball to Heron. Bounce pass to Hope. She's got Kamari in the corner but still is going to shoot herself. No good. On the rebound Oak Ridge. Shot is up and it is good. Lady Wildcats score inside and Oak Ridge now leads 42 to 13. Nice play that time. Nice offensive putback bucket. 
Yeah, it's a really great job by Gracie Heron that time, David, getting the rebound and putting it right back up, as you said. Oh, almost a turnover by Kamar Mr. Seen. She gets the ball from Grace or Ken oh, Green. Quick shot up, no good, rebounded by Harden Valley. Her fake was so good. She faked herself out. Kamari did. She missed the shot, but she made the girl from Harden Valley trying to guard her just kind of go in the opposite direction. Here's another turnover. The Wildcats have it. Here it goes. Lady Wildcats, Samaj Clark, looks cross-court, works the ball inside for a shot. Up, good. Lady Wildcats lead 44-13, to and a timeout is asked for. Mark, Lady Wildcats, just too much for this Harden Valley team. They're young, inexperienced, and it's showing here tonight. Not that the Oak Ridge Lady Wildcats are that experienced, but I believe, just looking at this roster, I just don't remember a lot of these girls playing last year for Harden Valley. No, I don't recognize any of the names either, but uh, great, uh, credit Gracie Hare and David. She has all six of Lady Wildcats points here in the second half. She's a great job of getting up and down the floor. You know, Mark, the last time we went to West High School for a ball game, I tried and tried, pleaded with you. I thought it was going to rain. And I said, Mark, we probably need to bring those tents out and cover us up here. But you know what? It rained and we all got wet. Hopefully that won't happen tomorrow. Well, David, I was kind of relying on uh, – I went to a school with somebody who took uh, – I believe they took all the meteorology classes that UT offered. And so I, I had faith in that person, and that person just let me down tremendously. So, I, you know, I really uh, – their entire education is suspect in my mind. Well, you know, I, I did take all those meteorology classes, and I, I – uh, I uh, honestly, just like all other weathermen, got it wrong. 527 to play third quarter, 44-13 the score. Lady Wildcats in the lead. The boys game will follow here. What do you think about this long gap of the Wildcats? If the Wildcats don't find a game on Tuesday, they will not be playing until a week from Tuesday at Halls High School in their first district ball game. As Cardinelli gets a bucket up good, 46, 44 to, to uh, 15 the score. What do you think about the long break the guys and the girls are about to go on to? Well, what worries me about a long break uh, during COVID, David, is you know what kind of restrictions will there be as far as practice time? Kamari puts up a shot. No good. You're, you're exactly right. I mean, they're, I know for a fact that the reason uh, next week um, we cannot play a home ball game at the Wildcat Arena is they're going to be sanitizing the whole school, and inc that includes the Wildcat Arena. So there will be, you know, even if Coach Green or Coach Taylor can find or Coach Mullins can find us another ball game on Tuesday for the ones canceled Monday and Tuesday, uh, uh, it has to be on the road because they're going to be cleaning the school. So it's going to be tough. Former Oak Ridge coach Ricky Norris uh, actually agreed, wanted to play us, but uh, as we said, they were doing the same thing. They can't play at their gym, so maybe they can meet in the middle someplace. Maybe that Carnes as the shot is missed by Oak Ridge, rebounded by Harden Valley. Um, so, um, I, I, I just think this is going to be such a weird year as Kamari almost got a steal there. It's. I think if we play a season, I think we're going to have like we've seen happen to the Wildcats next week. I think, you know, one day we might have a ball game and then, you know, hours before it might be called off. And, and Coach Norris has set up a, a website where if teams get their games canceled, you can check to see if there's an availability. And I think that's a smart idea. And, of course, to leave it to Ricky to kind of come through for the Wildcats if, if indeed as they put up a, a, a bucket and they score again. So a couple buckets in a row here for Harden Valley. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to have a basketball season. That's what I'm hoping for, especially these seniors. Yeah, I've been actually been really surprised that we've gotten through uh, as far as we have with the football season, David. Only Zoe Fulton has a nice shot by Gracie Heron. She now has eight points in the in the second half, twelve points overall. Gracie, one of Gracie's best ball games, and that's what they're looking for her. You know, they've they've uh, been waiting for an inside post presence, and she's she's battled injuries her entire career. She's a junior this year. Seems like uh, she's been playing a long time, and she has, but she just hadn't gotten a, a lot of playing time. She kind of reminds me, unfortunately, of uh, kind of like uh, Destiny Kastner, who uh, had such great potential but never was healthy uh, for the most part, playing great basketball in college right now. But at the high school level, she she just never, ever seemed to got a get a chance to play. Here's another steal by Oak Ridge and then a, a lazy pass by the Lady Wildcats. They turned the ball back over. But uh, we need Gracie's inside presence. 
Yeah, we do. I, and I'm not so sure that was a lazy pass. Is I think Gracie Heron should have gone after that ball. I think she probably thought it was for, for Hope Holt on her backside. But uh, Gracie had a, a great opportunity to get that ball and get another layup for the Wildcats. She has all eight of the Lady Wildcats points in the second half. Lady Wildcats substituting into the ball game. Looks like uh, Brooke Bush coming into the ball game. And I meant to ask Paige if uh, if she's related to EJ. We need to find that out uh, so we can we can talk about it about her a little bit more. Also, Lauren Hart back in the ball game. Lady Wildcats in the lead, forty six to seventeen. As we play in the third quarter, nice backdoor play there. They missed a shot. Gracie's got the rebound down the floor. He goes to Bush to Kamari Mitchell Steen. Kamari walks the ball across the line. Lady Wildcats not quite as sharp as they were in the first half, and I think the score might have a lot to do with that as Oak Ridge works it in for another easy one to Gracie. And Gracie's starting to dominate here, 48-17 to 17 the score. And you talked about, honestly, the amount of um, amount of points she has in the second half. Um, Jonathan Milloway says that, um, that uh, Brooke is EJ's younger cousin. So that's the answer to that. Thank you, Jonathan, listening to our broadcast tonight as the lady... Hawks take a three-point shot. Good. Knocked down by Evelyn Hess. And the score is 48-20. to 20. Lady Wildcats in the lead. Harden Valley's fans are, are noisy, that's for sure, Mark. <laughs> yeah, uh, all three of them are, David. Yeah, they are loud, though. Whenever whenever they hit a shot, they make a lot of noise. As Oak Ridge works their offense, a minute 32 to play and counting. Third quarter. 48-20, the Lady Wildcats in the lead. Here comes Kamari driving in, left-handed shot, partially rejected, taken away by Harden Valley. Lady Hog basketball in the rear court with it will come Emma. She works the ball across the top of the circle. Lady Wildcats on top here. Third quarter action, the boys game to follow. Here on PrepRadio.com and Oak Ridge Schools Television Channel 15. We'll have some, as Harden Valley throws the ball away, we'll have the boys game following. That'll be against Morristown East. We'll hope you'll stay tuned for that. The boys will be shorthanded, and um, I don't know if we've ever scrimmaged them before. We haven't played them in a real ball game since 1992, and we played them in the 92, actually the 91-92 season, beat them both times. The only time that uh, Morristown East has ever beaten Oak Ridge was in 1978, and that was a long, long time ago. Oak Ridge basketball. We're down to 45 seconds to play. Three-point shot is up. No good by Hart. Rebounded by Harden Valley, then saved by Kamari, then knocked out of bounds. Last touched by the Lady Wildcats. 37.9 seconds to play here at the Wildcat Arena. Crowd's not quite as big as it was on Tuesday night, and I wouldn't expect there'll be a lot of uh, Hurricane fans coming down from Morristown tonight, but uh, you never know as the Lady Hawks work the ball across the line. They kick it out. Left-handed three-point shot is no good. Rebound by Hope. Hope Holt with the rebound. She's going to bring it back across the line. The Lady Wildcats setting it up with 24 seconds to play here in the third quarter, leading 48-20 to over the Lady Hawks of Hardin Valley. The Wildcats is trying to go 2-0 and and trying to beat Hardin Valley for the uh, sixth consecutive time dating back to 2013. Hope drives in, right free throw line shot. Goes up for the shot. No good. Rebounded by Hardin Valley. 2-1. And that's the final four of the third quarter. The Lady Wildcats have a 48-20 lead. It's David Clary, Mark, and Shauna Hayes. Jonathan Milloway with us on our broadcast. We'll be back for the fourth and final quarter in 60 seconds. Welcome back to the Wildcat Arena here, 48-20. to 20, The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Oak Ridge's next ball game will be a week from Tuesday 
Uh, if unless uh, we can pick up another ball game on Tuesday, and that'll be at Halls. Then two weeks from tomorrow, the Wildcats will be on the road at Campbell County, and that's always a great matchup. Lady Wildcat basketball. Here goes inside for another shot off the glass. It's up and it's good. Lady Wildcats go inside, and I believe that was uh, Bella Boone scoring her first two points of the night. Yes, it was, David. Down the floor with the basketball after another steal come the Lady Wildcats, pulled down by the Lady Hawks. Oak Ridge by 30, 50 to 20, our score. Seven and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Bella Boone out there working hard, guarding at the perimeter as they work the ball to the left corner. Harden Valley with it. They'll set up their offense. Another near steal by Kamari Mitchell Steen. Haven't seen any of the other freshmen get into the ball game yet. Uh, Bush is in there right now as the Lady Hawks work their offense. We have to get the classes down here. I looked at that Oak Ridge roster, and Coach Red, Coach Taylor gave it to me a long time ago, and thought, man, there's a lot of people I don't know. As the shot is missed, rebounded by Lauren Hart. Down the floor will come Oak Ridge. 6.58 to play in the ball game. Oak Ridge ball for a moment, then they turn the ball over. Turnover by the Lady Hawks and by the Lady Wildcats, and the ball's deflected and knocked out of bounds. Lady Wildcats in the lead here, headed for their second victory of the season, and district play starts next Tuesday, a week from Tuesday. And, of course, we'll have all the action of all the games. We'll be trying to stream those ball games live for on the road trips. So the school does not allow us to stream uh, the home ball games, although we're kind of fudging. We've got, we've got at least one person who's watching the streaming right now, and I, I don't know if that's going to violate the rules or not. Should we ask Mike about that? Should we tell Mike that Jonathan Millaway is watching the ball game at home? Uh, I'll leave that decision up to you, David. Timeout is asked for. You're just no fun here tonight. I'm trying to trying to involve you in the conversation here as a timeout is asked for. Six and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Fifty to twenty is our score from the Wildcat Arena. We'll be back with uh, the rest of the ball game in a moment. Welcome back once again to the Wildcat Arena here. Oak Ridge in the lead, 50-20 to 20 over the Lady Hawks of Hardin Valley. Lady Wildcats coached by Paige Taylor, assisted by Lauren Trent, Christina Sims, and Ramonte Scruggs. The trainer is Brian Leffler. With the basketball, a steal by Brooke, uh, by Oak Ridge is uh, um, Hope Holt, and she brings the ball down the floor. 6.18 to play in the ball game. Oak Ridge by 30. Hart with the basketball for the Lady Wildcats. Works it over to the left side. Over he goes to Brooke Bush. She works the ball right corner. Lauren Hart thought about shooting from the three-point land in the corner. Good defense by Harden. Guy now drives the baseline. Probably should have taken a shot right there. I think she had the baseline drive, and I don't think she thought that it, that uh, she'd be able to get a shot off, but the lane was there, but she elected to pass it. And I, that's what I remember most about Lauren last year. Maybe a little bit too unselfish. I think she probably could have knocked down a shot right there as Waite drives in and kicks it out of bounds. Harden Valley great. really struck, Mark. Yeah, great defense there by Kamara Mitchellstein as she got her little cat paw in there and was able to de- deflect the ball and it went off the foot of one of the Harden Valley uh, Lady Hawks. Here comes Oak Ridge down the floor. 5.42 to play in the ball game. 50 to 20 Oak Ridge. Kamari with the basketball top of the circle. Works the ball left side to her classmate, Hope Holt, who has the ball kicked away. And the Lady Walk has turned the ball over. Then Kamari steals it right back and puts up a shot and draws the foul. On the roster for the Liddy Wildcats, Demetria Strickland. And I know her dad. Her dad was a good football player back in the day. She's a freshman. Mariah Ard is a freshman. Brooke Bush is a freshman. Katie LaFoon, freshman. Bella Boone, freshman. That's on the roster, Mark. I can't remember an Oak Ridge team with so many freshmen on it. Lady Wildcats also have Cannon Green and Gracie Heron. Well, uh, uh, Gracie's a junior, but they have Cannon Green and Emily Lindsay, who are uh, sophomore players. And the only juniors are Lauren Hart, Samaj Clark, and Gracie. That's the first free throw by Kamari. is up and good. The second one is also good. So it's a very, very young team, and it looks like Kamari's probably done for the night. That's very understandable, David. She, she, she leads with 19 points here in the fourth quarter with 5.25 remaining. But no sense in you know having a, a risk of injury. Here comes Harden Valley with a basketball. Number 14, Lexi Hall. 
Works the ball down low. A nice deflection there momentarily by Oak Ridge, but saved right back by the Hawks. Here comes Harden Valley driving in. Pretty good drive that time, and they score. And it's 52-22, to back to a 30-point Lady Wildcat lead. Samaj brings the ball down the floor. They kick it out to the right corner, dribbling the ball outside. Oak Ridge with it. Number 23, Lauren Hart. Works the ball to Samaj. Thought about a three. Drives the baseline. Kicks the ball left side. Lady Wildcats thought about shooting a three, but um, Cannon wouldn't take the shot. There's a shot. It's up, and it's good by Oak Ridge. That went by Brooke Bush, David. Her first two points of the night. 54-22, the Lady Wildcat lead is over. Is back over to 32 points here as the Lady Hawks work their dribble. Good defense out there by Bush. Holds the ball, comes cross court, and nearly throws the ball away. Ball's deflected and indeed stolen by Oak Ridge. Coming out of there with the basketball will come the Lady Wildcats. Cannon Green kicks it out to Hart. Hart at the free throw line. Works the ball back out to Samaj. Top of the key. Three good. Three-point shot by Samaj Clark and the Lady Wildcats. Lead is 57-22. to over Hardin Valley with exactly four minutes to play in the ballgame. I honestly didn't know what to expect from this Hardin Valley team tonight. I, I know Coach Elsie uh, um, Wilson told me they were young, but uh, they are young. They've got some size and it looks like they have some ability. And you know, they're going to be coached well, that's for sure. As Here's another steal by Oak Ridge, pulled away by the Lady Wildcats once again, uh, Lauren Hart. Here comes Oak Ridge down the floor. But uh, either Oak Ridge is so much better or – the Hardin Valley has a long ways to go. Yeah, I think Hardin Valley probably has, you know, I think it's a little combination of both, David. Is uh, Smalls Clark puts up another three. This one, no good. Rebounded by Hardin Valley. But uh, Hardin Valley, they've got, they've got some area for growth, I think, at this point. And Lady Wildcats do as well. But, you know, they look much improved between Tuesday and tonight. 57-22 the score. Personal foul is going to be called against freshman Bella Boone. Bella Boone, uh, her older brother, is a senior starter for the Oak Ridge football team, Isaiah Boone. Did you know that? I did not know that, David, but um, as always, you are an encyclopedia of knowledge. Uh, with the basketball will come Harden Valley. Here's a quick three. It's up no good. Rebounded by Oak Ridge. Pulling down the board is Cannon Green. Got to get Cannon going here. Got to get her offense rolling as it goes to Samaj Clark. She drives to the free throw line. Kicks it up in the corner. Here's a shot from on the baseline. No good. Boone on the rebound up. Good. Boone. Scores and makes it 59 to 22. The Lady Wildcats in the lead. Two minutes and 40 seconds to play in the ball game. Been all Oak Ridge in this one. The boys' game will follow. The Wildcats will be shorthanded again. I'm not sure. I didn't. I, I spoke to Coach Green a couple times today, but I didn't ask him about Flip Thompson, who rolled his ankle earlier this week as Harden Valley turns the ball over. I don't know if he'll be available to play. The boys' junior varsity played uh, before this one, 68 to 50. 56, they lost to Morristown East. Um, Coach Mullen said something funny to me, and with no disrespect meant to the guys that are going to be playing tonight. He said, uh, we're going to practically have two junior varsity ball games tonight. And uh, that's not quite the case, but, you know, considering the youth of the uh, an inexperience of the, of the varsity team that's going to take the floor tonight, it's not that far away from the truth. Oak Ridge works it into Bella Boone. Shot is a, no good. A minute 48 and counting. Running clock here at the Wildcat Arena. Now they stop it with a minute 46 to play. 59-22 the score, and Bella Boone will go to the free throw line. Mark, how's she done tonight? Boone has uh, four points in the ball game, David. Uh, she's now uh, one of one from the free throw line. She makes her first shot, so she is um, 100% tonight. She's two of two from the field and one of one from the free throw line. 60 to 22, our score. A minute 46 to play. Second toss, good. 61 to 22, the Lady Wildcats in the lead, and down the floor will come Harden Valley. Jennifer Wilson Galloway is the head coach of the Harden Valley Lady Hawks, a two-time Miss Basketball at Oak Ridge High School. Like the Lady Wildcats have had uh, two players win Miss Basketball, and both of them won it in back-to-back years, which is incredible. Uh, Aaron McGinnis, back-to-back years, Miss Basketball in the state of Tennessee. Jennifer Wilson Galloway now also back to back uh, Miss Basketball. So back in the back in the late nineties, Lady Wildcats were loaded with ex- exceptional talent and they've got some pretty good talent on the floor right now as we're down
down to a minute five to play in the ball game. Lady Wildcats with a big lead, 61-22, and they're going to take another shot. This one's no good. Harden Valley on the rebound. Lady Wildcats also have in the ball game Amari Stewart for the first time tonight. I didn't actually see her come into the ball game as they launch a three. It's up, no good. Rebound to Lady Wildcats. Boone comes down with it, gives it off to Amari. Amari Stewart brings the ball across the line, top of the circle. 37 seconds to play. The Wildcats kick the ball out of bounds. It'll be Harden Valley ball. Running clock here at the Wildcat Arena. We thought we might have one, and we do. We're down to 27 seconds to play, 61 to 22. We'll have Mark's statistics. We'll also honestly have um, the um, head coach of the Lady Wildcats, Coach Paige Taylor, after the ball game at some point. She didn't come up until halftime of the boys' game. That might be the case tonight. We'll see. As they work the ball across court, Harden Valley looking for a good shot. Still playing hard. I mean, that's one thing Coach Galloway's team are going to do. They're going to give you effort. They work them for shot. No, it is good. Will we count it? And the final score is posted. Did they count that bucket? They did. 61.